Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, not been around much lately. I've been the second bout of kidney stones. So I've been a little busy. But uh, what we've got here today is uh, these are the Ford 101 Spring Trip uh, Moorboard Bottom Plows. And uh, on these spring trip plows, uh, one reason a lot of them are worn out is you want, on any spring trip plow, what you want is this tripper to be tight enough right here. And you adjust it by turning this uh, bolt in or out to put more tension on this spring. Uh, you want it to be tight enough to where it only trips when it hits something stationary you basically want it to trip just before they're going to break the plow uh, if you have them too loose you get in hard ground they trip and it wears the tripper now one thing you can do and uh this is a i think it's actually an inch and a 16th but i got an inch and an eighth wrench and it'll work if i don't bust my jaw but you can manually trip the plows. Now you notice when I tripped it, the plow didn't turn loose. And they've been setting all year. And they're probably just a little seized up. And you can see how that comes out. Uh, so that's how you adjust them. To tighten them up right here you can see right here and you know what I'll do is I'll trip them uh, one way or the other and you can pull on that tripper see how much tensions on it and kind of get an idea of uh, how tight they're set and I've got these set tight because I don't want them to trip unless I hit something solid and I know there's probably some wind in this video but they're a little seized i have seen trip plows seized so tightly that they'll break the plow before they trip uh so you want to make sure that they're free before you uh if you're particularly in rocky ground you want to make sure that they will trip uh and uh Make sure that they will trip so that you don't break the plow. And like I said, I have seen them seized tight enough to tell uh, uh, that they will break the plow. And you can, uh, we will we will trip these at some point, clean them out. I try and trip them today, but they're, what I'll have to do is probably stick them in the ground, put uh, Levi on tractor, and just come by and manually trip all three of them. Turn them loose, get them cleaned out. And, uh, you know, once, once he gets them in the ground, I just come through and pop this tripper up. It will, uh, it will turn those plows loose. And, uh, then I can check them, adjust them, and do what else needs to be done to them. So, uh, that's, uh, that's one thing that, uh, is, uh, keep in mind. Now, like I said, I have seen not just the fork plows, but other types of trip plows, that are seized up that tight as well. I'm gonna air up his front tire on this tractor and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, still I haven't leaking issues with that tire. I thought I had it seat beat it, but I'm gonna have to break it down and re, re beat it. But uh, the reason I show you that about the tripper and the plow, there's a couple reasons. Number one, if you got a set of spring trip plows, and most of them are going to be older plows. They haven't made them in a while. You know, uh, make sure they're properly adjusted. <clears throat> like I said, I want to hit. I want to, uh, them to come up against something pretty solid before they trip. And uh, just because that, uh, I don't want them tripping wearing the plows out as rocky as my ground is. Now, if you have ground that isn't all that rocky, maybe just a rock here, there, and yonder, 
you know, you might get by with them being looser. But I have seen them worn to the point that they uh, that they uh, will just trip in harder ground, which you don't want. You don't want them tripping in hard ground. You want them to trip when they hit an obstruction. That's what they're designed to do. But uh, that's uh, uh, another thing about it that I didn't point it out. But there's grease fittings on that tripper mechanism. And I've heard a lot of the old timers uh, recommend to young farmers or whatever on if they bought this set of plows like that not to grease them. It makes them trip too easy. No, grease them. They're designed to be greased. Uh, that keeps them from wearing. Uh, if they're tripping too easy, they're out of adjustment. Or they're worn out. Uh, so, uh, but if you're in the market for a set of plows like that, and you get the opportunity, you can pick them up, manually trip them, and inspect the tripper, that's really, you know, that'd be a good thing to do. The issue is, in most cases, that uh, just like these plows here, and they were used last year, and now they've sat outside, is that they will not trip by hand uh, all that easily. So, like I said, what I'll do, I'll stick them in the ground and uh, get somebody on the tractor just to creep, and as they start to pull, I'll pop the trippers and flip all three of them loose and then we'll uh, we'll inspect them and go through all that. But, uh, so currently I'm looking for another set of plows. Uh, I have found a set, I think. I gotta talk to the gentleman about them. Uh, but, with all that stuff being said, I like the Ford 101 plows. I like the way they're designed, the way they plow, the way they clean, etc., etc. But I'm not in the market for a set of spring trim because the western North Carolina in this area is extremely rocky and they get tripped a lot. And you know, as as the tripper wears, you need to readjust it to keep that proper tension on it. And a lot of times that never happened. Uh, a set of plows may be 40 years old and they probably got the same setting as they would have when they left the factory. And uh, that leads to all the issues. Now, <clears throat> if there were parts available for them, it wouldn't be no big deal, but parts are not available. Yeah, you could probably have a machine, but at that point, you know, uh, who knows? It, it wouldn't be cheap. So, uh, on the, on the shear bolt, if the frog, the wearable parts are not worn, you know, you're good to go. Uh, in rocky ground, a lot of guys would drill them out and put a little bigger shear bolt in them. Same reason you don't want them to pop unless you hit something good and solid. And, uh, you know, that's, that's part of it. You don't, uh, uh, you know, you don't want to be off constantly replacing shear bolts. Uh, in, a, in a rockier piece of ground. So, but anyhow, that's a little bit about the plows. I'm going to put out a roll of hay here. It's raining again, as you can see. So, uh, if you like what we're doing, want to follow along with us, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, if you see a video you like, please give it the thumbs up button. If you have a question, comment, or just general feedback, please let us know. Love to hear from you. And uh, thanks to everybody for watching, and we will talk to you guys later. Hopefully the kidney stones are done, so uh, we can keep moving forward. Talk to you later. Bye.